first, though. If you're a diabetic, you may have to test your blood several times a day, which can be uncomfortable and time-consuming. Now, scientists at Cardiff University have created a wearable blood glucose monitor, which uses microwaves instead of pricking the skin. It's hoped with further investment, the Welsh-designed device could be available within five years, as Nick Pallett now reports. Just squeeze gently. Not too much, just a little bit. For diabetics, yes. testing their blood like this is a regular then, occurrence to ensure their the glucose square. levels are being controlled. Put the blood spot on the square. For some type oh, 1 diabetics, this invasive finger prick method can be an uncomfortable oh, wow. but necessary evil. They would normally measure their blood glucose about five or six times a day. So over the course of, say, 10 years, they'd measure their, their blood glucose about 20,000 times. But now scientists at Cardiff University have developed a new device which measures glucose levels using microwave technology. Then stick it to your body. Every time there's a change of glucose level, that um, resonant signal tracks the change of um, property change in your blood. There are currently 177,000 people in Wales living with diabetes and an estimated 70,000 more who have the condition but don't realise. Scientists believe this new microwave technology would help those patients manage their condition more successfully and they're confident it's safe. It uses microwaves but uh, the microwave levels are very, very low. They're nowhere near the microwave levels used in domestic cooking. Uh, you think about a mobile phone, for example, but about a thousand times less than that level. Our original goal from the project was to make the sensor, which is about the two pound coin, which is quite far from now what we have now. But yeah, it's, it's not impossible um, when you have enough money. Researchers estimate it'll take about 10 million pounds of further investment to bring this device to market. But within five years, lancing your finger to test blood glucose could be a thing of the past. Nick Pallet there. The Battle of Mamet.